Hello everyone, welcome back to Public Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to share Facebook page posts on Facebook groups. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to create a new post, an image post, a video post or a text post on my Facebook page, automatically that same post should be shared on my Facebook group as well. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between our Facebook pages and Facebook groups and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Public Connect. So Public Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger, we are going to take Facebook pages and in action, we are going to take Facebook groups and we are going to connect both of them in order to automate this entire process. And to learn the entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to share Facebook page post on Facebook group. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to post a video, a photo or a text on my Facebook page, automatically that same image, video or automatically that same media, image, video or text should be shared without any manual efforts on my Facebook group as well. So for creating this automation, we will simply connect our Facebook pages with Facebook group and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Fably Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So this is the home page of Fably Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect. After coming here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I am directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Fably Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also save our workflows by creating multiple folders. So as you can find, I have multiple folders over here. I have created them to save my workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Share Facebook page post to Facebook groups photo, video or text. Okay. So after giving the name, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So social media automation will be my folder. Let's click on create. And as we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So as I already told you that Pabli Connect runs on two principles, trigger and actions. So trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that exact commands. So therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose we are going to take Facebook pages in our trigger and Facebook groups in our action and we want that whenever we are going to post something on our Facebook page the same should be posted on our Facebook group as well okay so here we can find that our action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the post is created on Facebook page then only it is shared on Facebook group as well otherwise not so after understanding this concept let's start creating the workflow step by step first of all we have to select our trigger application and our objective is that whenever we are going to post something on our Facebook page then the response should be captured here in public connect and with that response the workflow should get triggered so here our trigger application will be facebook pages okay let us select that now we have to select our trigger event so that will be new post okay so whenever a new post will be created the workflow is going to trigger let's click on connect now from the given options i'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my facebook pages account if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that and now we have to click on this connect with facebook pages button let's select the account and we can find that our authorization has become successful. So after building the connection, we will move further. And because I was already logged into my Facebook account and this is my page, therefore the authorization has become successful very easily without much efforts. Okay. So you also have to keep in mind always to keep logging to the applications before making the connection with Pabli Connect. Now we have to select the Facebook page on which we want to create the post. So here I have my page as Peak Pulse Marketing for my digital marketing platform. And therefore I am going to select this page in Pabli Connect. Okay. So the name of my page is Peak Pulse Marketing. I have selected that. Now, whenever I'm going to post something on this page, the response will be automatically captured here in Public Connect. But for that, we have to click on the Save and Send Test Request button. As we have done that, it is showing waiting for webhook response. That means now we have to do a test submission so that the response could be captured. For that, we will move towards our Facebook page and we will create a post over here. So let me click on this switch now. So now I have switched my page. This is my page and it is given that you are now acting as Peak Pulse Marketing on Facebook. Okay, so you have to do do that 
that now we are going to create a post so first of all let's say i'm going to create a photo post so let me click on this and here i'm going to add a text along with a photo so let's say the post is what is digital marketing okay so now i'm going to attach a photo over here okay i'm, I'm going to upload a photo and i'm going to click on post so the post is recently created over here on our Facebook page. What is digital marketing is the caption along with the post. Let's go back towards Papli Connect. And here we can find that as we have created the post on our Facebook page, we have received the response in Papli Connect of that same post. Here we have received all the details of, okay, from name. So the name of the page is People's Marketing. Link of the content which is being posted. This is the link of the image. Okay, message along with the photo. Post ID created time and all other details. Okay. This means that our connection between Facebook page and Pabli Connect is successful. So now whenever a new post will be created, automatically we are going to receive the response in Pabli Connect. Now our objective is to share this same post on our Facebook group. So let me open the group. So this is my group PC test 5. I want that whenever I'm going to create a new page post on my Facebook page, the same post should be shared here on this group. PC test 5. Okay. So we will connect this group with Pabli Connect now. For that, we have to connect our Facebook group with Pabli Connect. But before selecting our Facebook group over here, we have to apply a condition. Because I'm going to post different medias, different content on my Facebook page. It could be image along with the text. It could be video along with the text or even a single text. So I want that all type of posts which I'm going to create on my Facebook page should be shared automatically on my Facebook group. So for that, we have to apply router over here with the help of which we are going to create three routes in the workflow. Okay. So let us select our action application as router over here so router is the very last step of every workflow we cannot add any other action step after router we have to perform all the action steps inside router only okay so here our action event will be conditionally run so with the help of router we are going to set conditions and routes in our workflow so let's click on connect and here it has provided us with the two routes already i'm going to click on this add route button to add one more route because we are going to create three routes over here and first of all i'm going to rename these routes okay so i want to create three routes first for the photo second for the video and the third for the text so i'm going to rename the roots as first root will be for photo okay the second one is for video and the third one is for text okay so these are all my roots now i'm going to click on this set filter and action step button for the first root okay now in this route only we have to perform all our action steps so first of all we have to apply the condition which we want for this particular route i want that whenever i'm going to post a photo on my facebook page along with the text then this route should be followed so for that we have to apply three conditions over here first of all i'm going to add two more conditions okay two more and conditions i have added now first of all we have to select verb over here okay so if the verb will be equal to add now here we have selected the verb value from our previous response that means it is going to change with each and every new response but we have entered the value of that verb manually that means add so it has become static that means now it is going to be same each time okay so whatever data we select from our previous response is called mapping and when we map the data the data become dynamic so now whenever a new response will be captured from facebook page automatically the data which we have mapped from our previous response will be changed and a new data will be considered but the data which we have entered manually will be same so if the value of verb will not be equal to add then the workflow is not going to continue from this route okay so here the next condition will be that if the post is published or not so the published equal to one so this is our next condition that published id will be equal to one okay and at last our third condition is that item posted will be equal to photo so these are three conditions which we have applied in this particular route. First condition is if the verb value will be equal to add, the published value will be equal to one and the item which is published will be equal to photo, then the route should be followed. Let's check this condition whether it is true or not. Let's click on save and send test request button. And here the condition is true. This means that the workflow is going to continue from this route. Now we want that if the condition will be true, then the post should be shared on our Facebook group. So let's click on this add action step button over here. And now we are going to connect our Facebook group with Pabli connect for that let us select our action application as facebook groups and now here we have to select the action event so we have multiple events over here this route is for photo so here our action event will be post photo okay let's click on connect and now from the given options we have to select add new connection to build a new connection with facebook groups account let's click on connect with facebook groups let's select the account 
now here our authorization has become successful now we have to move further before that we have to read this important note in order to use facebook groups with pably connect you must have installed the pably connect app in your facebook group so whichever group you want to connect you have to install pably connect application in that group okay go to your facebook account visit your desired facebook group under the manage group area click on settings edit app section under manage advanced settings and click on add app button and then we have to search for the public connect and install it now first of all i'm going to select my page that is pc test 5 so this is my page and now i'm going to take you towards my facebook group okay so here we have to go towards group settings from the left side and now here we can find manage advanced setting option where we have to click on this edit apps button let's click on this edit option and here we have to click on add apps now we have to search for public connect and we have to click on add public connect okay so we have installed public connect now we will go back towards public connect and we will move further we have to enter the photo url and the description which we want to post okay so we want to share the post which we have recently created in facebook page therefore we will simply map the data which we have received from our earlier response okay so mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given from which we want to select the data and here are all the details so first of all we want to map the photo url which is given over here let us select it and it is mapped so when we have mapped this URL, it has become dynamic. So whatever data we map by using our previous response, that data becomes dynamic. So now it is going to change with each and every new response. So whenever a new photo will be published on our Facebook page, automatically the link is going to be replaced with a new link of that new photo along with a description also. So we are going to map the description as well. Done. Let's click on save and send test request button. And we can find that we have received the ID over here in the response. Let's go and check whether the post is shared on our Facebook group or not. So we will go towards home section. Yes, here the post is shared what is digital marketing and this is the same image. That, that means that our workflow is successful up till now. Now we will move towards our next route. So the second condition is for the video. So when we are going to post a video on our Facebook page, then it should be shared automatically on this group. Okay. So for that, we have to move towards our next route. But before that, we have to capture a new response. Okay. So let's click on recapture webbook response button. So now we are going to post a new video over here. Okay. And then when we will post it, we will move further. We will click on switch now once again. And now I'm going to post a video over here. New video is out. Now I'm going to attach a video over here. So I have attached the video. So the video is processing. And here we can find that it is given your video upload is ready to view. So this means that our video is being published over here. And yes, here we can find that we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details. This is the description of the video and this is the link. So we will move further towards our next route. Okay. So let's click on set filter and action steps on video route. So here also we have to set filters. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to add two more filter conditions over here. Okay. These are two add conditions. Now, first of all, we have to select verb equal to add. Okay, here also we have to select published ID equal to one and and this time the item which is published will be equal to video. So if these three conditions will be fulfilled, then the workflow is going to continue with this route. Let's click on save and send test request button to check. And here the condition is true. So let's click on this add action step button and we will quickly connect our Facebook group once again. Now we have to select the action event that will be post video. Okay, let's click on connect. We will go with the existing connection only as we have already built a connection. I'm going to quickly select my Facebook group PC test 5 and here we will map the video URL and the description. Done. Let's click on save and send test request button. And here we can find that we have received the response along with the ID. So let's go and check whether the post is being shared on our Facebook group or not. So this is our Facebook group. Let's refresh the page once. And yes, a video is shared over here with the same caption, new video is out. Okay, so we will move towards our third condition. For that, let's again click on recapture webbook response button. And this time our condition is for text. So when we are going to create a post that will be a text on our Facebook page, then it should be shared automatically on our Facebook group. So this is my text, which I want to post. New digital marketing courses are going to be launched this month. Stay connected. Okay, let's click on post. And here the post is being published. New digital marketing courses are going to be launched this month. Let's go and check whether we have received a response in Pably Connect or not. And yes, here we have received the response along with all the details. This is the text which we have published. Okay. So now in the same manner, we are going to post this content on our Facebook group. For that, let's move towards our third route for text. Let's click on set filter and action steps. And we are going to apply filter conditions here as well. And first of all, let me add two more conditions over here. 
first condition is verb value will be equal to add the second condition is that if the published value will be equal to one and third condition is item status will be equal to status so status is for the text okay now let's check this condition if it is true or not and yes the condition is true once again so we will quickly add our facebook group let's click on this add action step button we will select our action application as facebook groups and here our action event will be post message because this time we want to post a text let's click on connect and now i'm going to go with existing connection only once again and let us select a verb group message and done we will quickly click on save and send test request button and we have received a response along with the id this means that the post is shared so let's go and check on our facebook group i'm going to refresh this page and yes we can find that the text is being posted over here on our group new digital marketing courses are going to be launched this month stay connected so this means that our workflow is perfectly successful so i'm going to go back towards public and we will summarize what we have done actually in this workflow so we have taken two simple steps trigger and actions in trigger we have taken facebook pages and in action we have applied router over here for three different conditions okay and our condition is that if in case we are going to post a photo on our facebook page so the, the second condition is for the video and in the same way the third condition is for the text so three routes will be followed for each of the conditions and whenever we are going to post any media or the text on our facebook page automatically with the help of these routes which we have applied in our workflow the post will be shared on our facebook group as well so let's check this workflow once again here i'm going to post a photo let's say so i'm going to post an image let's say i'm going to enter test photo as the caption let's click on post so the post is shared let's go and check whether the same post along with the same caption is shared automatically on our facebook group or not and yes here we can find that the same post is shared here along with the same caption test photo on our facebook group same we are going to test with the video as well new video this is the caption i'm going to attach a video it is being processed and the video is uploaded so let's go and check whether it is shared automatically on our group or not and yes here we can find that the video is uploaded in our group new video okay this is the same video third we are going to test this for the text now i am going to write a text over here this is a test message post i am going to click on post button and the post is created let's go and check on our group and we can find that yes without any manual efforts the post is shared automatically on our facebook group this is a test message post this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine and we have successfully built a connection between our facebook pages and facebook group in such a way that now whenever we are going to post something any media or a text on our facebook page automatically it will be shared without any manual efforts within seconds on our facebook group so you can very easily create this automation by following the same steps this will enable you to automatically connect your facebook page and facebook group in such a way that you will be able to share your facebook page post on your groups communities to make your post popular and get the wider reach okay so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using pably connect now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support@pably.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations